Hi everyone, this is Laura, the music therapist with LifeWorks. Um, I am coming here today with another video. So this week, instead of doing a video that's more traditional music therapy group, I thought that I would do a video about how to make some homemade instruments. But let's start with the Hillbow song first. Hello everybody. So like I said, today I wanted for us to make some homemade instruments. I know that last week Sean put out a video about homemade percussion or finding percussion around your house, which is awesome and that's actually what I'm going to jump off of. So he talked about finding things around your house and using them as they are to make music. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you actually how to make some different instruments um, based on things that you find around your house. So, we're going to have three videos in this series. The first video is this one, and I'm going to show you what uh, sort of items that you need from around your house to make some instruments, and I'm going to show you how to make some jarring can drums, um, as well as some mallets or some things to hit those drums. The next video, I thought I would show you how to make some shakers and um, how to make a didgeridoo which is, I believe, originally an Australian instrument, where it's that long tube that you blow into, and it makes these really fun noises. Um, then the final video I was going to do was to show you how to use all these instruments in a story. So I was going to, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be telling a story, and I want for you to use all your newly made instruments to create sound effects for that story. All right, I think it'll be really fun. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you what you all need. So, to make these instruments, to make a can or jar drum, the biggest thing you need are jars and cans. So I have a pickle jar here, I have a can here. Um, you want them to be around, this jar is 24 ounces, so I'd say probably around this is a really good size. Otherwise, cans that are around the same size or a little bit smaller are really great. So I think this is like a, a regular 15 ounce can. That per, both perfect for making can and jar drums. I wouldn't get anything that's too much bigger because I think it might be kind of difficult to use. But to make the heads for those drums, you're gonna need balloons. We're actually gonna use balloons for quite a few of our instruments today. So if you have balloons sitting around your house, maybe from an old birthday party or from just some celebration, we're gonna be using those today as well. We will need eggs because we're gonna be making shakers with them. I'm hoping a lot of folks have these at their houses right now just because it's that season. So we're gonna use eggs, and then we need something to fill the eggs with. So I have some jelly beans as well as some rice. I wanted to get both of these things that way we can kind of experiment with the different timbres that might happen in there. Um, to make our didgeridoos, you'll need a cardboard tube. So it can be kind of whatever size you want. I have a, this one is a, from a paper towel roll. You can also get one from like an old wrapping paper roll or maybe just toilet paper tubes. You can tape a few of them together or just make a little tiny didgeridoo. Any of those options is fine. You will also want a pencil, a thin marker, something like that so that you can make a mallet for your drum. And then you want some rubber bands, some scissors, and then a form of tape for your shakers. This is washi tape, but you can use really any sort of tape that you have that works. Alrighty, so let's get going. Let's make some drums. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually gonna cut apart a drum, or cut, not a drum, what am I saying? We're gonna cut apart a balloon. So we have a balloon right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off this part right here. We're gonna cut off the part where you normally would blow into, okay? So we're gonna cut it off. All right, perfect. So, two different parts. This is the part we are not going to use. I just wanna throw this part away so that no one tries to put it in their mouth or anything. But we're gonna use this part. So we see where the top of it's off. We cut it off. Grab our can. 
And we are going to stretch the balloon as tight as we can. And put it over the top of the can. And it's going to look like that. See? Really easy, really simple to do. Okay? You can hear a little bit of the sound now. But it'll be even better once we get our uh, little mallets going. All right? Same thing with my pickle jar here. I have a balloon that I've already cut the top off of. I'm going to stretch it as much as we can. Oh, we're going to stretch it a little bit tighter because there's a little bit of a bubble and we don't want that in there. So we're going to stretch it nice and tight as much as we can. And if you can't get it in the first try, that's okay. Let's try again. It is not a big deal. All right. Perfect. I'm going to have this one in here with some fun sounds as well. Okay. So these are ready to go. We just need a mallet to play them with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a marker and rubber band. I'm going to wrap the rubber band a whole bunch of times around the top of the marker. So that starts to make kind of like a ball on the end of the marker. When I come back for the final sound story, I'm going to make sure my drums are all decorated and I'm going to put about five or six more rubber bands on the end so that becomes nice and bulbous. But for right now, we're just going to go with this one. So this is what it sounds like. So it's a really fun, really easy way to make some drums and some mallets with things that really should be probably in most people's homes. All right, I am gonna make the next video right after this. So the next video will be how to make egg shakers and how to make a didgeridoo. I'll see you in just a sec.